we're in the Chitadella again. Oh, fucking. Oh, sorry. Jeez, I pulled the brake and it almost threw me. I'm just going to try and zip up and look tidy. There's the moat. On both sides, it goes all around the entire thing. Huh? Only if. Uh huh. We don't have to do the whole walk, just go up there and have a look. Then get down again. I think it'd be worthwhile doing. Maybe we can do it tonight or something, I don't know. And then go to Ariana's shop on the left. Ah, hang on, where is it? Ariana's bag shop, we've passed it. Must have passed it as usual. We need Borgo Bassano. Oh, I'll ask this one. If she's there. No, she's over there. I reckon we'll go right. No, that's not it. Yeah, we're going the wrong way down a one-way street. Obviously, that's the way to, to be positioned over here. I'm hoping this is Borgo Basan. They all look the bloody same to me. I, I think it's not. shop is about four down. Castle walls all around. You can see that you can walk around there. Oops. Bye bye Cittadella. As you can see, I'll stand back a bit because it's blowing in through the window. This is our upstairs view from Giorgio's bike shop. It was a summer thunderstorm, but it's literally bucketing down. Have a look at it. All the water down there. Across there. Ah. We've uh, taken Giorgio's advice and we're actually finally gotten up into the walls. <laughs> and <laughs> Big spoon. Um, this is uh, Renaissance era furniture. Over there you've got a bit of a chess set. What's this? Kitty's toys there that little catapult, little child here with his wooden sword and we've got some nice weapons there that look quite spiffy. Apparently there's a weapons museum as well. Just have a look at the ceiling and have a nice woodwork there. Naturally the person working on the ground they're cleaning is of a dark colour. Oh. <laughs> and we got this lady over here. And this is quite fascinating. The 
Renaissance table setting, nice glasses, cutting board. Walls a bit faded. I know this guy's interesting shoes and outfit. Oh, he's an artiste. And we've just gone upstairs and we're just checking out some groovy weapons, including this gizmo here, which is a miniature replica of some sort of massive catapult. You see the little step things there? That's where the guy would climb up, and I'm, I'm assuming they're going to chuck a stone that weighed a couple of hundred kilos. I mean, imagine that landing on your head. Now here we've got something impressive. This looks like a crusader. We went over there and almost got things under control for us. On ya, mate. And over here we've got some interesting looking, interesting looking um, bows and arrows and whatnot. Over here. Jesus, look at the pointy schnoz on this thing. I can't see what I'm looking at here. But look at the side on, look. I mean, look at it. Bloody hell. How can you see through that? You wouldn't see too well at all. Look at the kneecaps. Yeah, yeah. Imagine looking around that shit. Oh, this one. Ah, this one's more modern. See, he's got an actual uh, blunderbuss type rifle. These are all dress ups for an S and M party. <laughs> yeah, okay, Ray. <laughs> oh, jousting. Check this one out. See the pole out there, the joust. Look at the outfit. Look at that sword. Jeez, bit of stainless steel on this guy. Museum thing. You walk along there, we just come in from this little room, we had some weapons and stuff. And we go up into here. And we go all the way across there. And as you can see, there's... The walls go all the way around the entire town. Let's see if we can... Click. There's... A whole heap of tourists coming. Bloody tourists. And that's the room we were in over there. And as you can see, we just do a quick panorama. Yep, get Rudy's face out of there. I don't want to walk all the way around. I'm going to go to that gate over there, halfway and come back. Well, well if you go that far, you've done half of it, you might as well do the other half. Yeah, it's worth seeing the entire thing. Different perspective, it's not huge. Look at that. Uh, which wall can I piss on? Uh, don't piss on any walls, you. Well, we've just come from there. And that's a bit of a view. you got uh, Grappa in the distance. And the Veneto Plain. What I, that, that house down there is especially nice. It's got um, frescoes painted on the wall there. And you've got some beautiful trees around. Some very nicely established like that big pine just right over there. And this is the view from up here. And there's your moat. And that's where we're heading to. Speaking of nice trees, have a look at this beautiful pine of some sort. Nice little garden area down there. Gotta get me a gelato, a little one. We're walking along the walls here, as you can see. See the area there? It's quite nifty. See, it's got the little areas that you view. <laughs> Not. There's a church and cathedral. Some top brand Italian brand. And they might have. Here we go, the, the turrets. The pigeons are just having a bit of a nap. That's where we ride, where that lady's walking. Have a look at the punji sticks. 
Yeah, yeah but so, so the pigeons can't sit on them, the little punji sticks. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. They lay um, some silicon down and they put those uh, those trip wires in like the freaking... Ned just Kelly. Have, just have a pork curry. A Ned and Kelly. Then, and then you can shit out some pork uh, bits. We're recording <laughs> this. Will you stop that? That freaking bogan. Now that's the Borgo Vicenza that we've come through. And we go, that's where Ariana's uh, bag shop and Paolo's got his shop just about there, hang on, uh, about there. Uh, and as you can see, and then uh, that's Borgo, towards Borgo Bassana right across there. That's, we're halfway. So we're gonna come down that road where these cars are going, so against the traffic. And then we're gonna go home and have another beer. I'm gonna get me a, a, a gelato. As you can see there, you've got the, the crossbow dude. Uh, she made, she made the, the crusader dude. Bogan tourist. And uh, check out the weaponry. Cool, I've given him the ticket. Oh, that guy just smacked him in the head. Oh, he's going to smack him. Smack him right in the noggin. Can you? I wonder if we can see that. Yeah, Oops. Doesn't matter. Which I take. I take the one that fires a few shots. Can you get one of those? Like 15, uh, 15 shot clip, nine millimeter. They're real weapons, not this sort of stuff. Got a couple of shields here. That's a big shield. These are the, the pole brigade they got there. Look at these chop chops. Freaking hell, they're, they're, they're into rearranging people's heads in a big way. Yeah, show them the biglietto, you. I want to keep my piece for my souvenir. I, I don't know. Oh. Some more crusader dudes up there fighting to save Western civilization. And this is the uh, the jousting thing. Oh, excuse me, Bogan tourist, get out of the way. See the jousting thing? You come along, you smack that, and you hopefully get out of the way before that smacks in the back of the head. Some more, some more barbecue tools. Jousting action, not jousting action, freaking fighting and carrying on. Bloody, ooh, smack and belt. Got a couple of groovy looking shields here. Ah, oh, the town lady here. Where's the wench. The wench. Some nice looking outfits. Oh, here you got the monk brigade. Oh, lady Madonna. Lady Madonna. The hangman. Imagine all the butchering. Profiteering, eh? They were going after the bodies and taking possessions off them. That'd be an idea. That'd work. Oh yeah. There's the, the, town, the town hooker. The town hooker.